morning. My name is Mr. Moody, um, and I am the AVID building coordinator for Creekside Middle School. And today I'm going to walk you through how to set up your AVID binder. Um, before we begin, I want to just walk you through the final product and what it looks like so you kind of know where we're headed. Um, so what we're going for is a binder that will be your one-stop shop for anything you need to study in any of your classes using your AVID strategies. So you've got your planner in the front of your binder. Okay, there's your planner. And then each class has a tab with your labeled class. So your red one class, red two class, red three, red four. Um, and behind each tab, there's a tab for focus notes. I, I've labeled them FNTs. So we've got um, class and then focus notes for that class. Next class, focus notes for that class and so on and so forth through all of your classes. At the very end, we'll have, a, we'll have four leftover tabs, and those are gonna be specifically for tutorials. So you'll have a section specifically for Avid tutorials, and in that section, there'll be the name tutorials, there'll be notes that you'll take during tutorials, there will be binder check, rubrics you'll keep there and um, you'll have old TRFs tutorial request forms that are graded at the very end so the materials you'll need to get your binder set up at this point I'm gonna walk you through each step of the process you can pause the video um, and work through it at your own place or at your own pace please follow my directions don't try to um, kind of work ahead. I'd like you to do it in this order. It just makes it easier and cleaner. So the materials you'll need a binder, your planner, and four sets of tabs. Okay, Four sets of tabs. Um, first thing we're going to do is open one set of tabs. Just one. Okay. So I've got my tabs. I'm gonna take off the cover sheet, take the plastic wrap, and go throw those away, okay? Every time we get some trash, we throw it away. So that's thrown away, and I have five tabs. Um, beginning with the first, um, should be the top tab in the front. I'm gonna write my red one class. So let's just say it's math. So I'll write math with Sharpie. You should have a permanent marker, uh, math, right at the top of that. From there, I'm going to open my binder, set my other tabs aside, and this math tab is going to go into the binder. So I'm putting it in actually backwards um, so that I can lay the next one down on top of it without reclipping. So I've got my math tab. I just laid it down in the front of my uh, binder. Next, I'm going to do the same thing for my R2 class. So my R2 class, let's say, is social studies. So I'll take my tab and I'll write SS for social studies. And take that tab and put it in behind the R1 class, red three class, um, I'm doing this for eighth grade, so this will not be an elective. This will be, um, let's say, ELA. So we got ELA, third block on red days, got my tab written, put it into the binder. And then my next class would be, let's say, AVID, red block four. A, V, I, D, AVID. Set that tab behind the R3. Now I've got my next tab. I'm gonna set this one aside, this last one. I'm just gonna set it underneath my binder and we'll get back to that one a little bit later. Um, moving right along to our next classes. So we're going to do our blue days now, which is just the repeat process of what you just saw. So we'll open up our tabs, dispose of our waste, and then get going 
working on labeling our blue classes. So we've got first tab, um, let's go science, S, C, I. So that will go in behind all my red classes. My next blue day class, wellness, W-E-L-L, -L. wellness, like that. Drop it in behind your R, your blue one. Next class, my eighth graders have core plus. We are putting a tab in just so it looks all balanced with four sections on each day. Core plus, and then whatever your elective is. Uh, if it changes, I'd just write the word elective. If it's gonna be the same all year, you could write that word um, for your other elective. Boom, got an extra tab. I'm gonna set that aside with my other one. So at this point, what we should have when we look at all of our tabs are our blue classes and our red, or our red classes in the front and then our blue classes behind. So we got uh, a tab for each one of our classes. The next thing we wanna do is add a tab behind each one of these um, for focus notes. So math, right behind the math tab, I'm gonna have an FNT tab. Uh, for my math focus notes that I end up taking this year. So, new set of tabs. It's our fourth set of tabs. I'm gonna open it. You know the routine by now. Open it and dispose of your waste. So get rid of the cover sheet and the plastic. Drop those into the waste basket. Head back to our seat. And these are all gonna be the same thing written. They'll all say FNTs, focused notes. So F N T's, just like this. Okay, FNTs. And I'm gonna drop that right behind my red block one tab. And it's like it should kind of just go right behind that red block one tab, whatever class you have red one. So I'll drop that in, close my binder, move on to my next class, and do the same thing. So for me, it's social studies, and I'll write F N T's behind the social studies tab, add that in. Next class is ELA, and I'll have a tab behind it for focus notes, F N T's. for all of my focus notes that I take for language arts this year. And, ooh, Avid. Focus notes for Avid. Let's see, uh, FNTs. I'll go behind my Avid tab. And, oh, I have an extra one again. I'm gonna set it back with my extras beneath my folder. So now I've got three of these extra tabs just waiting, which we'll get to those in a minute. Um, and so my, my, I'm onto my blue classes and I'm gonna add the focus notes tabs for those. So I grab my last set of tabs, I open it up, dispose of my waste, take it to the waste basket, come back, and then FNTs, 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 FNTs. Focus notes. Behind the science tab. Pop it in. Focus notes behind my wellness tab. Pop it in. notes behind my core plus tab <laughs> you never know uh, eighth graders do like some scheduling stuff we might do some notes over um, seventh graders I'm not sure elective class focus notes FNTs drop that into the very back so at this point okay I've got my last extra so now I've added that with my other extras. At this point, what we should have is um, tabs for every two tabs for every single one of your blocks that you have on your schedule. So I've got, oops, I actually messed that up. 
there we go, math first, then focus notes behind it, math, and then right behind that, I've got my focus notes. Then I've got my red block two class, which for me is social studies. Right behind it, I've got my focus notes tab. ELA, focus notes tab, so on and so forth until you've got all those tabs. So we've got these four extra tabs at the end, and we're going to use those for our AVID tutorials, which are happening on Mondays and Tuesdays. First days of tutorials are September 13th and 14th, whether you're red day or blue day. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to label these first and then put them in the very backs of our binders. So the way we're going to label them, we're going to label the first tab tutorials. And that's where you'll keep materials that you need during tutorial sessions. Um, second tab, we're going to call it, well, let me just double check, make sure I get it right. We're going to call it notes. We do, we take notes during tutorials, not necessarily focus notes, because you may not review them, but we do something called three column notes. And We'll teach you how to do that. Your third tab in this back section is going to be called binder checks. It's where we'll keep our rubrics for binder checks. And then the last one, old TRFs, tutorial request forms. I accidentally smudged a little bit on one of those, so I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. I hope you do a better job than I did. Um, so we got tutorials first. Then behind that, we'll have notes. Behind that, we'll have binder checks. And behind that, we'll have old TRFs. So those are the four tabs we're going to have in your tutorials section of your binder. So open up to the very, very back of your binders. Pop that open. Bada bing, bada boom. Plop those in. Snap your binder together. And now all of your tabs are finished and beautiful. Very nice. Planner, just drop that in in the very front. Very front. Very nice. Just like so. Um, and we're good to go. You can make a little cover sheet. You can design something on uh, Google Docs if you'd like and print something. Uh, so mine, just an avid sample binder, but you could have your name, your, um, your team. If your team already gave you something, you could use that. So this is going to be the one-stop shop for anything you need to study. So you'll keep study guides, you'll keep notes, you'll keep um, things that your teachers give it, have given you to review. Uh, anything to use to study for your classes, and, um, and we'll use this all the time in AVID. Thank you very much for following along. Well done.